Now you place the, this is the lower end of the subcostal region. Move the probe 90 degree and then move upwards. You will be in a, somewhere between the 10th intercostal space. This is the area. Move into the subcostal region. Angle the probe in this fashion. This is the, this is the way you will be doing it. This is the subcostal region. This is subcostal region. From almost mid to lower, you will enter the subcostal region and then angle the probe towards the patient's left side on a little straight. And this will be your angling, this one, to see what the diaphragm, right diaphragm, see there. See this on the ultrasound. Now I have and from the subcost, lower subcostal region where you are seeing gases. I have entered the subcostal region. I am moving the probe upwards as well as angling it towards the patient's left shoulder, and I get the diaphragm straight away. Now you see this is the diaphragm, and we have to observe if there is any fluid of about the diaphragm. If any fluid is seen in this location, it will be the pleural effusion, fluid in the pleural space. This also gives you an opportunity to see the outer surface of the liver, which is normal, how it will normally will look like. It will give you an opportunity to see most of the light probe of the liver in total to see the echogenicity, the eco that is the eco brightness and the eco texture smooth, uniform, and it will also give you the opportunity to see the vessels. This is the hepatic vein, this is the portal vein reticle because it has ecogenic borders, and this is hepatic vein because it has no ecogenic.